uh, we are Zoomerai team, and our game is Silent Sea. So I am the producer, and engineers are Alex A, Andrew Barrett, and Ryan, who's not with us right now. Design team is Alex Burns, and Isaac, who's not with us, and Art is Sam, who's not with us as well. So our game is a Metrovania. So it's a 2D platformer, and um, we are in the void. We've been banished by an evil, evil wizard. So we will explore the Silent Sea, and as our character progresses, we'll gain new skills, um, new abilities, and we'll try to escape the Silent Sea. Sen. So, yeah. All right. So you are banished into the void oh of the Silent Sea, almost a desolate, almost outer space-like region, where life that is hostile to all life. To escape, you must fight enemies, overcome environmental hazards, solve puzzles, and explore the sea to progress. You. When you're cast into the void, you've lost your body. You are a mere shadow, a spirit, struggling to survive. En enemies are struggling. What, what life exists here is constantly fighting to find life sources to feed on, to steal, their, to steal their energy to fuel their own, and you must survive against them. The sea itself is hostile to life, eating away at the spirit of any creature unfortunate enough to be trapped into it until they fate, a fate worse than death, where you're from quite literally frozen in time, unable to move, really think, or do much of anything. I'm not gonna put a time on it. Exactly. You're when you, when you are in the sea, you are constantly under pressure of time. There are areas in the game called havens that have life sources that are more easy going, but anytime you're in within the sea proper, you are in danger. And now we get to the key mechanic of our game. You discover you have the ability to transform into the enemies you defeat using their abilities via hot, jumping high, swimming through lava, freezing water, you name it, okay? Even just being fat and heavy enough to break through a floor. The sky's the limit here, okay? And you have to use these to progress, okay? You have to defeat the enemy. They drop a spirit orb on death, let me jump over to that. If you're close enough, you can use that orb to gain the powers of the monsters and you use that to navigate the various obstacles and hazards of the sea. Okay, orbs are gated, they come in different colors. You must unlock the ability to use certain colors before you have the ability to transform into those monsters. Uh, yeah, here we get to you know, a little bit of lore, a little bit of source of life and all that. There's, of course, there's havens, safe places, sea monsters. We have a bunch. We have a bunch of ideas for bosses, kind of drawing from all the material here. We'll have an anglerfish with a life source attached. You gotta stay close to survive, but not too close. Electric eels, krakens, pirates, and more. Is there anything else you can do? Look, look right. at the art again, real fast. It kind of went over like that. Like there was a page of art on it, right? Or that was just an example. Of, that was just an error. Yeah. So, any questions? What well, perspective is it? 2D, 2D side scroller. 2D side scroller, yes, correct. Thank you.